Hello, it's Karen at the Cool Tool Studio, and today I'm going to demonstrate how you can use stamps to add pattern to your enamel pieces. When I first heard about this technique, I was a little bit skeptical about how fine of a line you could achieve, and I was actually really surprised at how detailed of a pattern you can get by using stamps with your enamels. Here's what you're going to need for this technique. I have an enamel sizing set, a mask, Thompson unleaded enamel, a stamp, a 200 mesh sifter, a sponge applicator, an enameling square, a tile, squeegee oil, and surfactant. So as I said before, you can get really fine lines with this technique, but to do so, you need to work with the smaller grains of enamel. So we're gonna be sizing our enamel, but first things first, you're gonna be kicking up a lot of enamel into the air, so please wear a mask for this technique. So I have some enamel sizing pans here, and I'm going to be sifting through the 200 mesh sifter. And there's going to be a collection pan underneath. I'm going to pour some enamel in. And then I'm going to toss in some pennies to help agitate the enamel. And then I put one more in on top. And that's going to help keep some of the dust from coming out while you're agitating it. So then I'm just gonna give it a good shake for about 15 to 30 seconds, and that's gonna sort my enamel by size. Once you've given it a good shake, set it down and let it rest for a minute before you take off this top lid. And that'll help some of the particles to settle as well. So the dust is probably settled, and I'm gonna take off this first layer, and then my 200 and larger particles are on this layer. And these are the really fine particles, and these are the ones that I'm going to be working with today. I'm going to be demonstrating this technique with our enameling squares, and they're a lot of fun to work with because they're porcelain coated steel, so you don't have to apply a counter enamel or a base coat if you don't want to. You could also use this technique on enameled copper or silver. I use the Swanstrom disc cutter to cut out discs to work with. And it was a really quick and easy way to make a bunch of little circles. And we have a wonderful video on how to use this tool by Jan Harrell. So please see that if you're interested. Once your shape is cut, before you apply any enamel, you're going to want to clean it with surfactant. And that's just going to remove any grease so you get a nice even coat of enamel. Oop, that was plenty. Just going to give it a good scrubbing and then thoroughly wipe it off. You can rinse it, but you don't have to. And you do want to make sure you get it very dry if you're going to go straight to the stamping portion, because any residual moisture, the enamel is going to cling to. So you're ready to now either add a base coat of enamel or head straight into the stamping. My piece here has a base coat of enamel, and I'm ready to add my stamp. But again, you could work straight on the enameling steel if you'd like to. I'm going to be working with squeegee oil, and that's what my enamel is going to stick to to give me the pattern. So you don't need a lot. Okay, maybe a little more than that, because the sponge is going to soak some up. And I've got a sponge applicator here, and I'm just going to pick up the oil and kind of spread it around some to evenly distribute it on my sponge. And then I'm going to pick up place on my stamp to work. And I love this Art Deco's border stamp because it has so many different patterns and then even within the patterns, there's a lot that you could work with. So I'm gonna apply my squeegee oil. And I'm just kind of pouncing up and down in the area that I'm gonna want to use. And then instead of flipping it over and stamping traditionally, since I'm working with such a small piece, I find it's actually easier to take my piece itself and flip it upside down, figure out exactly where I want it to be before pressing down firmly. And then lift it up. And it's hard to see at this point, but there's a pattern there and it's gonna show up beautifully when we apply the enamel. 
Since I sized my enamel, I'm going to be working with a 200 mesh sifter, and I put the pennies in there as well because it'll help move the particles around and get a nice even coat. And I'm just going to sift over that pattern in the whole piece. Once it looks like I've got a nice coat, I'm going to take it on its side and tap it. And there's that pattern, and that looks great. When you're happy with your pattern, you're ready to fire it in. I just fired these pieces at 1450, and you're just looking for the enamel to gloss out and smooth over. Here's my finished piece. I think it looks great. As a side note, you can also fire these pieces with a torch. Cool Tools carries a variety of stamps, and I think there's something here for everyone. They're all really beautiful and will make some wonderful pieces of jewelry. Stamps are a really fun and simple way to add pattern to your enamel pieces and make some complex looking designs with ease. Thanks for watching. Visit our learning center at cooltools.us for more cool jewelry making videos. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and be sure to sign up for our email list to be the first to hear about new videos, new products, and other cool stuff from Cool Tools.